In this video, I'm going to discuss some of the ridiculous things that were in DevOps or K2 on release date in early November, and which got patched later that month. I'm not going to mention some other problems that were patched much later on, such as invisible zombies, dying inside of vehicles, room of judgment being random, etc. Instead, I'll be talking about some of the earlier problems that were fixed so quickly to where you might have forgotten about them, or you might not have even known about them, especially if you didn't play the game until the more recent months. Enjoy. The Room of Fate. We all know about the Room of Judgment being random for a long period of time, but do you remember when the abysmal Room of Fate was random? It was bad enough on DOA 1 where the arrows wouldn't properly display on your screen when you played on an HGTV, but on this game, it was entirely random. To add insult to injury, it took 20 rounds, which translates to about 30 minutes on this game to reach the Room of Fate, only for you to get there and have your worst player get the best fate, and then you need to restart. What a crock of shit. The Chicken. The fate of Eternal Companionship was quite shit. It's gone through four renditions since release, but the most notably bad version came during DOA 2's release. The LMG and the chicken that accompanies you both shot regular, level 1 bullets, as opposed to the purple bullets they both shoot now. As a side note, there were hotfixes later on which made the chicken shoot red bullets, and then another which made the chicken shoot purple bullets. And then finally, with the version we have now, the LMG and chicken both shoot purple bullets as mentioned earlier. Mech. Alright, the mech, aka ED209, was incredibly, though unintentionally, overpowered on release. Get this, if you entered one of these during a round, you would be invincible for the remainder of the round, so long as you didn't die from meatballs or electric pulls. Luckily, the mech spawned very infrequently, and still does, so players didn't have an opportunity to exploit this as much as you might think. But I do remember a case in which a player like Sneasel007 got one or two mechs on Chinatown Arena rounds 97 through 100, and was able to cruise by because of this glitch and get to 125. 125, you might ask? Why did he game over there? Well, that leads me to my next point. Endless round 125. When you reach round 125, a Margra would suddenly appear. Now, this was unusual at the time, because the Margra would never spawn from round 61 to 64 like it does now. But the Margra would appear and wasn't the problem as the issue was that the round was endless. Even if you killed the Margua, endless hordes of the undead would pour out of the doors. When I first heard this problem, I was in utter disbelief, and I even ended up playing a game where I had to suicide on 125 because of this problem. Death on Chicken Bowl. Okay, so you're on Chicken Bowl just chilling and getting a large multiplier, only for the zombies that surround your vehicle to kill you in between rounds. This also happened on Ren's Rally. But it occurred more often on Chicken Bowl since it was such an enclosed area and the zombies would always be on your vehicle. Another thing worth mentioning was that it was impossible to actually beat the challenge, as you would always fail and the silverback would scoff at your efforts. Fortune and Fortitude When you died with the fortune, or even the fortitude for that matter, you would come back with only a 1 times multiplier as opposed to a 2 times and a 3 times respectively. This was clearly a mistake because your 2 times score multiplier would appear briefly on the screen, but quickly go back to a one times once your player got back up on his feet after dying. When the creator of the game fixed this problem, he actually messed up how your score multiplier would increase with this fate, which made it just as easy to go from a three times score multiplier to a four times, as it would be to go from a one times to a two times. Six and boost, the spawning of equipment used to be rarer than somebody actually beating one of my DUA records. In all seriousness, this shit never spawned, as back then, Half as many spawned when compared to how it is now. Also, bonus rooms that contain two speed boosts used to have none back then. Meatballs. Not only were meatballs a big pain in the ass to kill back in the good old days, but they would also kill you before they actually spawned. Yes, you heard that correctly. If you were within their spawn area, it was possible to die from them before they actually made their way down to the ground, giving you absolutely no time to avoid them. On the subject of meatballs, let's talk about bosses dying from meatballs. The Cyber Silverback boss and the Margra bosses would instantly die if a meatball exploded on them. Yes, I guess it's only fair that what kills you in one hit kills them as well. I also heard that the Wonderoth balls had the same effect on the bosses and killed them in one hit, but I don't know how accurate that was. Flying Parasites. Once upon a time, the Flying Parasites that accompany the Margra and slow you down would appear in the later rounds. What was the catch? They would often go invisible or underneath the map, shooting their bullshit at you without warning, often resulting in frustrating death. No wonder these guys were called shitheads. 
All right, that about closes the video. Now that I've officially sold out with a top 10 video, let me know if you'd like to see future videos of its kind in the future. Adios, shit heels.